of the resonance performance model. So what does it mean to perform? Is there a process of engagement that underlies outstanding performance? Whether it be working, strength training, or shooting a basketball? How do people become excellent performers? If people's performances are engaging, will they perform better? And what role does personal meaning play in the process of engagement? We consider resonance to be a work in progress, as it developed out of consulting practices and research interviews conducted by Doug Newberg. That work indicated that resonance is a process that can help people perform better and live more fulfilling lives. The focus of Newberg's work has been to understand why people perform and why some of them are able and willing to create and express their own ideas even in the face of many life obstacles. He was interested in exploring how people find meaning in their performances and their lives and why they choose to take risks to perform at a high level. These assumptions about people resonance and performance are consistent with findings in the emerging field of positive psychology. Psychology has, since World War II, become a science largely about healing. It concentrates on repairing damage within a disease of human functioning. It is no surprise that 46,000 papers have been published on depression, whereas only 400 have appeared on joy. One of the unique features of the resonance performance model is the dream component. The dream represents the feelings that individuals seek when they engage in a particular activity. For example, a rock climber described his dream as feeling vulnerable with power, spiritual, free, and connected. A paddler described her dream challenged with risk. The Olympic gold medalist interviewed by Newberg described his dream as easy speed, a feeling in which he was swimming fast with about 80% effort. Each person's dream is unique and specific to his or her own performing context. The dream cannot exist without both freedom and responsibility. The exercise of freedom and acceptance of responsibility drive the entire process of resonance. Performers who were interviewed were able to free themselves from pressure, fears and distractions, and to exercise their freedom to learn, make their own decisions, do the necessary work to develop exceptional skills, and enjoy themselves in this process. They balanced their freedom with the many responsibilities they had in order to be able to live their dream on a daily basis. Newberg found that a lot of doubt and anxiety exist because people do not engage in activities that necessarily make them feel the way they would like to feel. In these cases, individuals restrict themselves and how they truly would like to live their lives. They do not set goals that are in line with their dreams. In the RPM, the dream drives the goal. Goals are important, but dreams that are lived and experienced each day are the keys to performance, excellence, and meaningful living. They are more enjoyable and fruitful than goals. A personal dream is a way of life. It leads to the experience of resonance over and over again. For many athletes, the dream is not merely winning the championship. It's the process in which they engage to get there. Preparation is the next component of the RPM. It involves all of the activities in which individuals engage to make the dream happen or to elicit the feelings they desire on a consistent basis. Such activities may include physical, mental, or emotional components and strategies. Resonating performers enjoy much of the preparation phase. This is because they are clear on the feelings they want to experience, and preparation is just part of the process. Resonance type performers are aware that their preparation must connect with their dream. They do two things very well in the process of their preparation. They keep their dream in sight, and they set useful goals. Preparation is much about developing the ability to live their dream and keep sight of it as it is putting in the hours of work to develop the skills required to excel in their domain. Holding on to their dream or the feeling that inspire them to prepare is critical. This enables them to maintain the desire and the energy to develop their talent. It is noteworthy that they also set goals that connect to their dream. The third component of the RPM suggests that various obstacles often can disrupt the resonance. 
Newberg observed that when faced with obstacles, many people go back to the preparation phase and attempt to work harder. They get caught going back and forth between obstacles and preparation, and in this vicious duty cycle, cut themselves off from their dream. One day, they realize they are no longer experiencing any of the feelings they like to have, and wonder how this came to be. He calls this the obstacle preparation loop. The importance of getting back in touch with one's dreams should not be underestimated. Following the preparation phase and assuming the person is able to revisit their dream, the expression of revisiting is unique to every individual, but often it is a reflective period that occurs after an obstacle has been encountered. Individuals can revisit their dream by engaging in activities such as writing in a journal or looking at pictures, watching a favorite movie, or resting. This can result in a rekindled motivation to live their dream with their performance context in mind and can prevent them from getting trapped in the obstacle preparation loop, which can be problematic. Revisiting the dream also is important because it allows people to re-energize themselves before setting new goals or modifying those that they initially established to engage in meaningful preparation. So in summary, most moments have little to do with external situations, such as standing on a podium or winning. It's typically the feeling that's behind it that gives us the most meaning. Biggest obstacles to engagement is success. Focusing on the internal process of resonance can actually lead to more meaningful goals. And once the process of resonance is discovered, it must be protected and nurtured. To conclude the resonance performance model, Try to create one more RPM that's specific to sport. And now that you know the true breakdown of each component, see if you could add more details that would help give your model more meaning in each of its phases.